Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ray. I'm a detransition male, and today I'm going to be responding to the breaking news coming out of Redux Magazine that Algerian, Algerian boxer Amon Khalif has XY chromosomes and testicles, French Algerian medical report admits. Now, if you remember this controversy from the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics, all the trans activists and all the allies of the trans activists were saying that JK Rowling was transphobic and mean and bullying for daring to say that Amon Khalif was a cheater um, based on reports coming out of the Russian Boxing Federation that, that, that alleged that Amon Khalif had XY chromosomes and, and was uh, a intersex male, a male basically who was had a intersex condition such that upon birth they were under masculinized and appeared to be female but then during puberty they went through normal male puberty and had testicles and 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 like normal testosterone levels and went through a normal male puberty there, there's a there's a um there's there, there's some intersex conditions um that uh make that possible and so that was the speculation based on the fact that um it had been alleged that amon khalif had x-ray chromosomes and all the trans activists said well that's just russian propaganda there that's just you know that's fake news um jk rowling is like a cyber bully um, amon khalif was born with a vagina so therefore amon khalif is is um is like female and like this is all just like racism and like it's just because Amon Khalif is like a woman of color and 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 like there's just like long history of like racism against like women of color for being too masculine um well Redux magazine just broke the news today that a shocking new development has emerged in the case of Algerian Algerian boxer uh Amon Khalif after a French journalist reportedly gained access to a damning medical report revealing Khalif has testicles. The news comes months after Khalif seized a gold medal in women's boxing at the Paris Olympics. The report was drafted in June of 2023 via, via a collaboration between the Kremlin Bietre's Hospital in Paris, France. Sorry if my French pronunciation is butchering it. <laughs> like, to, to any French person listening, I apologize for butchering that. But And the Mohamed Lamine de Dibagin Hospital in Algiers, Algeria. Drafted by expert endocrinologist Sumaya Fadala and Jacques Young, the report reveals that Khalif is impacted by 5-alpha reductase deficiency, a disorder of sexual development that is only found in biological males. The genetic abnormality influences the normal development of a child's sexual organs. At birth, male babies impacted by 5-alpha are often incorrectly assigned female due to the presence of deformed genitalia that sometimes takes on the appearance of a blind vaginal pouch. This disordered development typically becomes apparent by puberty when 5-alpha adolescents begin to experience signs of masculinization such as muscle, muscle growth, hair growth, and an absence of breast tissue development or menstruation. Without access to a proper clinical examination, males with 5-alpha may incorrectly believe they are female into adulthood. At the end of October, French journalist Jafar at Awada obtained a copy of a thorough physical examination that was conducted on Khalif in order to verify the presence of a disorder of sexual development. According to Audia, the clinical report reveals that an MRI determined that Khalif had no uterus but instead had internal testicles and a micropenis resembling an enlarged clitoris. A chromosomal test further confirmed that Khalif has an XY a karyotype while a hormone test found that Khalif had a testosterone level typical of males. Audia also noted that doctors suggested Khalif's parents may have been blood relatives. The report concludes by recommending Khalif be referred for surgical correction and hormone therapy to help him physically align with his self-perceived gender identity and adds that psychological support would be required because the results had caused a very significant neuropsychiatric impact. Um, so yeah, like, Basically, um, J.K. Rowling has been completely vindicated. And like, but do you think that the trans activists are going to acknowledge this? No, they're probably going to say that this is itself also a conspiracy, that this is just uh, just just a conspiracy theory of the transphobes who who hate who who hate, you know, um, trans people or whatever. Um, and which is so funny because 
the left and their and the Democrats and the trans allies and the progressive woke people, they're always saying that the center right um, people or the, or the, the like right center right people or that the gender criticals, they're always accusing them of, you know, being conspiratorial or, or you know, believing this crazy conspiracy theories when, you know, whenever a fact doesn't fit into the progressive ideology, into the trans ide ide ideology, the, the trans communities often sticks their head in the sand um, or just accuses of this conspiratorial thing. It's like, oh, well, this all must be a hoax. This all must be fake news because, because it violates our priors. It violates our assumptions. Um, and they're never going to bite down and they're never going to compromise. And I am expecting that even if um, trans activists acknowledge the fact that, yes, like Amon Khalif is a biological male with X-ray chromosomes, internal testes, um, and is male on the gametic account of what counts as male, where male is defined as being an organism where your body is organized around the development of the production of small gametes, aka testicles, producing sperm, even if that developmental pathway to organize your body around the production of small gametes gets broken in some way or gets disordered, which leads to these sexual disorders of development, like in Mon's key, uh, uh, within Amon Khalif's case, they're going to say that, well, that's irrelevant um, because uh, Amon Khalif was assigned female at birth and identifies female. So therefore, Amon Khalif is a, sh a cisgender woman because the way trans ideology has defined what it means to be a cisgender woman is that you are assigned female at birth and you identify as female. And so since Amon Khalif satisfies those conditions, you know, Amon Khalif is a real woman and therefore deserves to play on the female sports team, even though... It's female sports team. It's the female category. The female category was explicitly carved out from the male category based on the fact that going through male puberty and being male, like being male and going through male puberty, especially, um, and, and especially having normal testosterone levels and, and, like, and like having all the advantages that come from that like hyper burst of testosterone and like male puberty. And also there's, there's things even prior to puberty there's many puberties prior to puberty that sort of um, grant, you know, males, um, you know, biological advantages in competitive physical sports. That that's that's not just purely going through male puberty. There's other factors as well. Not, so it's not just puberty, but puberty plays a big role. But basically, as a as a society, we carved off the female category, and. Because we know that disorders of sexual development exist, you can't just go on this concept of assigned female. Because we know that particularly in countries with poor medical um, specialization, with poor medical knowledge and like uh, like a poor health coach system, um, that's like rudimentary. You're not going to catch these cases. So Amon Khalif was assigned female at birth, but that was a mistake. If Amon Khalif had more thorough medical examination done at birth, then Amon Khalif would have never been assigned female at birth because in reality, it's not about assignment. Assignment is a legal, bureaucratic, human, um, cultural, social, legal thing. It has nothing to do with, with the ontological reality of being female. And when we're dealing with sports, where the physical reality of your body, which matters for safety, um, and for fairness, like matters, we don't go based on legal constructs or social constructions. We go on the biological reality of your capabilities that are granted and conferred in virtue of being male. Um, and so we just make that distinction. It doesn't matter, you know, whatever, like legal cons constructs. So that's the whole like argument is like totally bogus. Um, so JK Rowling, totally vindicated, the evil turfs, totally vindicated. The trans actresses are looking like fools. And so, but, you know, is this going to, you know, make news within the, the, the trans world? Um, probably not. They're, they're like probably not going to acknowledge their mistake. They're, they're, they're probably going to still think that Amon Khalif was like perfectly in, in his rights. Um, and, 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 and like the Olympic and, and like, yeah, maybe let's, you know, we can reserve our blame for Amon Khalif because Amon Khalif was like, possibly innocent because you know he was not told the truth about his biological reality growing up he was deluded into thinking that he was female 
So maybe among Khalif, we can like personally, you know, understand that. But the Olympic committee committees, the Algerian, you know, sporting committees, they all knew that he was male going into this. So, um, so, so yeah, th this is the fault of, of, of these woke progressive policies and the sort of, um, and, and also when I interviewed James Linehan, who's an intersex activist, an actual intersex person, um, on my channel, he said that it's, it's a well known, um, uh, issue of corruption in these national sporting agencies to seek out um, males who have these uh, disorders or sexual development in order to get them onto the women's sports team because it's very lucrative to win um, Olympic gold medals and all this stuff. It's, it's like lucrative for the company and their national sporting team. So there's corruption at the sports level. There's corruptions at these regulatory agencies. There's corruption at the Olympics committee. There's, and also it's, and at a higher level, all of this has been corrupted by the woke ideology of trans activism, which is erasing the biological reality between males and females and, and sort of saying that, oh, it's all just a social construction and you guys are just a bunch of bigots and transphobes. And the only reason why you don't like allow this is because, you know, you're an imperialist, colonialist, racist, white supremacist, bigot, cis heteronormative bigot, blah, blah, blah. So. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.